Hi, welcome to the Museum of Fashion in Wynwood, Miami. We're kicking off the first show for 2015 with Made in Miami. All these clothes were made here from the 40s until yesterday. For the past three years, I've been curating and finding clothing that have been manufactured in the neighborhood in these warehouses. The show begins in 1947. We have this one designer, it was called Eleanor's House of Fashion here in Wynwood, manufacturing this beautiful suit in a tropical weight wool check. Then we have this Jay Cobb suit, which is sort of very Joan Crawford in the late 40s, and it also is the epitome of the late 40s and what fashion was. Miami does have seasons. We do have a winter, spring, fall, and summer. She's wearing a cashmere with a mink collar coat. So this is about 1954, 55, the epitome of the early 50s. There was a designer named Alex of Miami. Uh, this is one of his swimsuits. What's, what's beautiful about it is very early, early knits. For the time period, which was about 1952, it's very, very modern for what it is. We have this beautiful cabana suit, which has uh, prints on it of the Eden Rock, the Fountain Blue, and the Biltmore Hotel. So these are the represent what swimwear was in Miami in the early 50s. Here we have another Alex of Miami dress from 1952. In the morning, she would be wearing this Mosley's robe. Mosley's was a very, very expensive um, beddings and sleepwear in the 40s and 50s, 60s, 70s, and in the 80s. Mr. Dino did all his silkscreen patterns, sort of very similar to Emilio Pucci. They came up with the name Mr. Dino because his wife was very fond of D. Martin. So hence they said, let's call it Mr. Dino. Miss Jane did some amazing things in the 60s and 70s. Let me show you some more wild designers from Miami. Come on. Here we have a Rosengarten mink stole. This one over here is probably from 1964. It's a beautiful silk satin beaded dress. This one is from Jordan Marsh. This very chic Nehru jacket. And this Burdines. Burdines was an incredible department store here in Miami um, in, in South Florida. Burdines became Macy's. And here we have a velvet dress by Lucia, and she was working at, out of Coral Gables. And, and the fur coat is from Frederick Furs in Surfside, Florida. Let me show you some more. The quintessential beach cover-up. Back in the 60s, you had to wear a beach cover-up. Here's one here from Mel Warshore. Here's one from Lily Pulitzer. And by the way, Lily Pulitzer did all her manufacturing here in Wynwood in the, in the design district. Then here we have another Miss Jane Miami in this very psychedelic, probably around 67. I don't know if you know it, but Jackie Gleason of the famous Honeymooners moved down to Miami Beach in 1966, and he had the June Taylor dancers. And one of the dancers named Jean Kahn, a family member, said, oh, my mother's stuff has been in storage for 45 years. I'm like, do you want to sell it? I need it for the museum. These are most amazing outfits. It's almost like French couture. We have this beautiful Scorts dress, and it's also embroidered, it's metallic, it's, it's just beautiful. And here we have sort of Anna Corinne, a silk dress with all this beading. This one is from a store called Barker's in Miami Beach. I wish Barker's was still around today. We have another Joan Abbott, which is all embroidered on tulle and silk. It's a beautiful suit. And here we have another Joan Abbott, sort of a silk with um, beading and, and stones all over it. 
Now we head into the 70s, and the 70s was the magic of miracle fabrics. Throw it in your washing machine and it comes out beautiful, the same as the day you bought it. And we start out with Melveen, this beautiful dress, and the label says, Hits of the American Riviera. And here's a beautiful polyester double knit dress with an amazing print. Here we have a Lily Pulitzer complete polyester caftan. Here we have an Americana knitting mills of Miami. This beautiful suit, this striped suit. Uh, it's just very chic, also wash and wear. And here we have a lovely evening gown, another one by Melveen, Hits of the American Riviera. It's in a complete polyester, but very well made. At the time, they were miracle fabrics, and they weren't cheap. They were very expensive. We start the ending of the show with Nikki Beach opened here in Miami in the late 90s. This is a, a uniform that was manufactured here in Miami. The Webster in South Beach. Here's a Webster dress. And they're also keeping Miami Beach on the map with their beautiful store and taste. Glenn Miller is a local designer manufacturing in Wynwood today with everything that's going on here with the restaurants and art galleries and all the hoopla we still have a local design. Thank you for coming to the Museum of Fashion. Thank you for seeing Made in Miami, the first show of 2015. See you soon.